Before we get started, this is a portion of part one of a six part video series. If you enjoy this and you want to provide your organization with a full team series, reach out to us at sales at competitivecc.com, leave a comment, or visit our website at www.competitivecc.com. Microsoft Teams is a collaboration space for colleagues. It works as a communication center to work together in a group setting to get more done together, or privately on personal work items. Teams provides secure document storage space for work items and files to access anytime, from anywhere, on any device. If you're wondering how Teams can work for you in your role, consider the following. Teams maximizes communication efficiency by providing a central place for group and peer-to-peer -peer conversations. It also allows you to easily and effectively manage and organize files. As it integrates with all of your Microsoft apps, you'll be able to work on all of your shared and personal work items from one application. Teams is also cloud-based, which allows us to collaborate with others in real time and access our files on the go. Here are some of the most popular features of Microsoft Teams. Teams can do all of these things in one app. We can co-author and collaborate on shared content, host virtual meetings for internal colleagues as well as anyone in the world, chat and call colleagues privately, work with all of our Microsoft apps, share files with ease, and ensure our information's protection. In this video series, we'll be covering all the information you need to start using Teams. We'll start by learning how the Teams app is laid out and works, and how your profile works. We'll then see how to create a team to start working within a workgroup environment, and how to use Teams functionality like the Posts tab, Files tab, and the Wiki tab. We'll then see how you can break out Teams into channels for different work streams for your workgroup. You'll see how to add custom apps to those channels to bring the best experience for you and your team members. After that, we'll learn how the activity view works and how to have peer-to-peer -peer private conversations. Teams also lets us host and join virtual meetings, which we'll be learning how to do. We'll see how the calls view works and how to create personal work items from the files view. We'll finish this video series by learning to use shortcuts and search the team's environment as well as how you can use Teams from any device, anywhere, at any time with the mobile app. At the start of each video, there will be timestamps which outline where you can find the specific sections. Let's get started with a tour of Microsoft Teams. To log into Microsoft Teams, select your Start button, and then search for Teams. It may be helpful to add Teams to your taskbar, which you can do by right-clicking the app, and then by selecting Pin to Taskbar. Now it will appear here on your PC. Select the Teams app to open it, and once it's loaded, enter your work email address, and then select Sign In. Enter your password, and then select Sign In again. Once you're logged in, the Teams app will load. Along the left-hand side of the app, we have the different views. Each one of these views lets us access a different major function within Teams. As we select different views, you'll see the viewing pane change, and we're currently within the Teams view. The Teams view is where we can access and collaborate with all the different work groups that we are a part of. Each heading is a different team that I am a part of, and each user will be a part of different teams based around their role. These are collaboration spaces that help you work with others. You might be wondering, how should we separate out our teams? Separating out a team based on a project is a good place to start, but teams can also be separated out by program, department, initiative, and any other type of group of people that work together. In each team, we have different channels, which are the different sections or work streams of those work groups, like project phases. In each channel, there are apps that we collaborate on with those other users. Each channel gets a post tab where we can communicate with our team, like a shared chat room. You also get a files tab where we can access and collaborate on shared files, as well as a wiki, where we can house quickly accessible shared written content. We'll see how we can add additional tabs as well to enhance the channel to suit our team's needs. Where the Teams view is used for group collaboration and communication, the Chat view is used for private chats and collaboration. We'll select that. We can see the viewing pane change as we selected another view. 
The chat view displays all the private chats that you have with one or more internal colleagues. From here, we can access and participate in persistent conversations outside of a group environment. We can see our recent chats here, as well as an example of a chat here. From the chat view, we can also make voice and video calls, as well as share content as well, such as our desktop, PowerPoint presentations, and even files. The chat view lets us have one-to-one -one conversations or participate in group chats that will save automatically for us. As Teams uses persistent chats, we'll head to the calendar view by selecting it. The calendar view is synchronized to our Outlook calendar. As we receive meeting invitations, they will synchronize with Teams. You can also join and schedule virtual meetings from this view as well, which users can join via their Teams app or dial in with audio conferencing. Anyone in the world is able to participate in a Teams meeting. We can schedule meetings from the Teams app itself or from Outlook, which we'll be learning to do in a later video. That concludes the Teams training package preview. The full series is six parts and over an hour long. It outlines the full feature set of Microsoft Teams. Again, if your organization is interested in getting your users our six part complete Teams training video series, email us at sales at competitivecc.com, leave a comment, or visit our website at www.competitivecc.com.